So this is the row space, column space, and null space. So what these are are vector spaces induced by matrices. We're going to start off with an example. So the row vectors of A are the two rows, R1 and R2. The column vectors of A clearly has three columns. But what we're going to be looking for is the row space. And basically, that is the span of these two rows, which is a subset of R3. You can see these are elements of R3. Don't get misled here. The row space is not saying that it has two elements in it. We don't know that yet. We'll talk about that in the next section. The column space. And we can see our columns are subsets of R2, where we have A is a 2 by 3. And these are elements of R2. Our last space that we're going to look for is the null space. And this is actually a subset of R3. If you remember, this is the homogeneous solution space. It's a homogeneous equation. So this is called the homogeneous solution space. And just so you can see that it is R3, if we write AX equals zero, A is a two by three, X, has to be a 3 by 1, and 0 is a 2 by 1. So you can see here, x is a 3 by 1. It's a subset of R3. So just a note here, when you do elementary row operations, those do not affect the row space or the null space, because we are using row operations, so it doesn't affect the row space. And these are the same space, subsets of the same space. Here's a theorem. Okay, so what this theorem says, if a matrix is in row echelon form, so we reduce it as much as we can using row operations. Then the row vectors, so the rows that have leading ones, those are the non-zero rows, form a basis for the row space. And then the corresponding column vectors form a basis for the column space. You have to use the original columns of Matrix A, though, for the column spaces. So just to point out here, we had our leading coefficients of 1. So both of those rows, since they have a leading 1 in the row, are our bases for our row space. Now the column space, since we row reduced, we have to go back to the original matrix. These are called our pivots with these 1s. We look at these two columns but we use the original matrix and the original corresponding columns, which is a subset of R2. 
Again, for our column space, we have to go back to our original A. Now let's work out the null space. So we're going to set up our matrix A, augment it with zero. We might as well use the row reduced form of it. Otherwise, we'll have to row reduce it. And with the zeros there, it doesn't change anything. So since this is row reduced now, we can write out these two equations, x, y, z. which is a linear combination, so we don't need the T. So let's do another example. Now, word of caution here, you probably want a zero there so that you don't make any mistakes when we're finding the null space. So one more step. There was a negative there, but the work is right. So our row space, again, is going to be this row and this row because they have these pivots in them. So it's the row with the pivots. The pivots, by the way, can make this identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. See that they're independent? So it is the first two rows, and you write them as a vector. And we can see this is a subset of R4. This is a by four. Now we go back to the original pivots. Those corresponding columns are going to be used to find our column space. It has to be the corresponding columns, columns one and three, one and three. And so therefore, and you see, as you can see, this is a subset of R3. But do notice there's two elements in RA and two elements in CA. We'll talk about that next section. And last but not least, our null space of A, call it NA, and we solve AX equals zero, the homogeneous solution. Well, we can basically augment our row reduced space. Since this is reduced as much as we can, we're going to go ahead and write out our equations. I'll go ahead and call this row x, y, z, w. So you can see we're going to set those two as our parameters. which is the same space as our row space, R4. Okay, that's it for today. And my last section talks about the dimension of each of these spaces. Okay, have a good day.